Hi folks, Dan Lozamo with Sundial Energy here. I really love solar with off-grid battery backup capability because it really shows you what is possible with solar. So this is one of our newest uh, installations in Nightdale. Uh, we have a 2.8 kilowatt system on the roof, a very small uh, PV array. Uh, but we have a off-grid capability that's rather large here. So we have a Radian uh, 8,000 watt uh, outback inverter. This is the GS load center. And we have a battery bank here. It's a 220 amp hour battery bank. Rather small battery bank. The whole idea of this job was to give the customer a battery uh, system uh, with solar production if the grid goes down to do her critical loads. So we did. Uh, we took a number of circuits off grid: the uh, refrigerator, uh, living room uh, lights, and kitchen receptacles, and the well pump. So if she has power uh, a power outage, all these uh, loads will be powered seamlessly with this product. We want to talk about advantages and disadvantages of this. We use the Outback Radian Inverter. It's an 8,000 watt inverter system. Uh, the advantage of using the Outback uh, system here is that it had a very large delivery uh, load of energy. So we can do a number of circuits off-grid here. Um, the other thing with, that's an advantage of the Outback is it has a tremendous surge capability. So it's it's rated for 8,000 watts continuous output, but it could do significantly more. I think like 1,300 watts uh, surge if it needed to. So it's got a lot of delivery. Um, its its main competitor would be the Sunny Island. Uh, the Sunny Island has a, a product that is a little bit more expensive. So this product is a little bit more uh, cost effective than the Sunny Island. Um, Another advantage of this one is that it comes with the G GS load center. Uh, all the breakers are, uh, you know, conveniently located. It's organized, looks good, uh, really good product there. Some of the disadvantages is that it's really tough to get the um, certain breakers in here, certain wires attached. So the battery cables was very difficult to get installed in here. And I've actually read about this online, but when, when we did it, you, you realize, yeah, it was pretty tough. So getting the battery cables was difficult. <clears throat> the other thing is on this type of uh, system, you have to have a charge controller. So the, the, the array uh, goes to the charge controller and then charges the batteries. You know, uh, when you do a Sunny Island system, it's actually what's called an AC coupled system. So you've got your solar inverter and your battery inverter and you don't need a charge controller. So it's one less thing that can break. Uh, I kind of like that about the Sunny Island system. Um, but the Sunny Island system costs more, has less delivery capability. So the disadvantage of the Sunny Island is that, I mean currently, right now, it costs more. Um, it, each battery inverter for the Sunny Island uh, delivers 40 amps at 120 volts. Um, so you would need two of those battery inverters to do less than what this guy can do. So you're talking significant more cost, probably around $5,000 at least to do the same amount of energy with the Sunny Island. Nice. The other disadvantage of this type of system is that because you have this charge controller and the, there's, you have to take DC wires all the way from here and so lower voltage, you need bigger wires. So um, you, you can use, I think, minimum of four. Well, that's, that's pretty big wire. Uh, I think they recommend like a three or up to a two wire. Big wires that cost a lot more money, very difficult to install, so another something you want to consider. You really don't want your weight array to be too far away from a system if you're doing something like this. We kind of show you a little bit how the system works. The GS Load Center is a, is a very nice product with Outback that really kind of organizes all the input and output circuit breakers. Um, what you do is we have the input uh, solar array coming in. Here's the breaker for that with the ground fault protection uh, device. It goes into your charge controller. The charge controllers charge the batteries. This is the breaker for the output of the charge controller. These are the breakers for the batteries to disconnect the batteries. Um, then there's the grid input coming in. This also has a bypass function, so you can use the grid to either charge your batteries you could bypass, use the grid to uh, charge your loads if need be. 
Uh, generally speaking, this system, when it's in uh, regular mode, standby with the grid up, it will uh, offset the loads and it'll even feed the grid if the batteries are charged. And here's uh, the battery box. Small uh, battery system. These are the DECA 225 amp hour sealed gel batteries. Sealed gel batteries are really nice um, because they're they, they're, they don't spill, they're very safe, um, you know, we like them a lot for solar installations. They're a little bit more expensive than the regular batteries, but they're, they're good. Uh, overall, it was a good installation, it took a lot longer than we thought it was going to, uh, but uh, I do like the product. Uh, it it's definitely does a, a lot for its price point, so I like it, um, but there's, there's definitely more uh, more time consuming and uh, you know installation there.